How's it going, everybody? Let me get the YouTube chat open here, pop it out, and start saying hellos. How's it going? My YouTube chat thing is, my YouTube interface is telling me I'm offline still. I am hoping I did not put in the wrong code. We'll see. What is going on? So we have a an echo, somebody said. How's it going? We're gonna start momentarily. Hopefully everything is working still. Oh good, we are live. All right, great. All right, so we'll give about uh, 30 more seconds. As do I. All right, we're gonna get started. Okay, so here we are with yet another Negative Space Live Design Review Show. So uh, for those of you who uh, are just joining for the first time, basically this is where you submit anything that you've recently designed, be that a UI design of some sort or even an identity design like a logo design or poster design, graphic design, whatever. You submit it here in the Discord server, which is right here. Um, and it's the very first link in the YouTube description. You click on it, you'll have to create an account if you don't have Discord already. And then you click on the review submissions right here, this channel, and then you submit your your work. And this could be in the form of a URL, or you can add an attachment like this person just did. And I go in the order that they were received. So we already have a few um, from when I announced this earlier this morning. Um, and here's the thing though, if you do want me to review uh, your design, and you want to get to it thrust to the very beginning of the, uh, the the queue or the order, you can click on this, the super chat option, mention your Discord username, you know, like uh, Gary Simon, and then your amount that you're willing to pay me for being sent to the very front. So I don't always get through all of them. I, in fact, I never get through all of them. So if you really want me to review them, we do this for an hour, then you just send that super chat right here. Um, also new this time, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have somebody help me figure out which ones, because a lot of times I'm sitting here figuring out which order it is, because some people do the super chat and then I, I lose my place. So we're gonna see how that works out as well. So thank you, Sir Exotic from Discord, who's gonna be helping me um, with that task right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First, let me um, situate things here. We're also gonna be doing, as always, uh, the rating. So uh, I'll be rating you guys on a scale of one to 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best. And I also ask the chat over here to do the same. So let's go ahead and get started. So the very first submission is from JVS, which is a regular uh, Discord, what's up? Um, anime watching app, the transitions are a bit inconsistent in the prototype, but they'll be fixed in the real thing. All right, so we have an Adobe XD prototype. All right, so that's opening on my other screen, unfortunately. Let me get it over here. There we are. And let me get it um, positioned all nicely and such. <laughs> 10. Okay, so, all right. I'm liking what I, I see here so far. Um, let's see. Uh, all right. I'm not really noticing anything that looks like it needs, I can't scroll down here, um, that needs worked on too much. Here's a search. Here's a search option. And then here's the information page. 
What else can I click on? Quick play. Nice. We have a uh, auto transitions or auto animates rather working. Nice. I'll be honest. I really don't see anything too much that I would say needs improved. This is great as well. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Nice. We have uh, animations taking place here with auto animate. Yeah. Discover, explore new things. I'm not sure what this is. It seems more of like a title. Um, it, it's, so it, it is slightly larger. Okay, I take that back. Maybe even make that bold or a little bit larger to distinguish it between these, these labels. But uh, outside of that, I think uh, everything right here is really solid. So what do you guys think for a rating for this? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best. Let me know in the chat. I'll give my own rating as well based on what's being presented here. Uh, yeah, this is all really solid from what I'm seeing here. Very nice. Good colors. So some are saying 9, 8, 9.8, 8. All right. So I'm going to say, being that it's not 100% finished, so I can't give it like a perfect score. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say like an 8.8. .8. I, I think in order for it to go more so than this, we would really have to see it more of like in a finished context. Uh, but yeah, very solid otherwise. Awesome, awesome stuff. JVS is actually one of our moderators as well. Okay, so let's continue on. Let's see if Sir Exotic has my next die. Uh, Thing ready to rock submission two, awesome way to go all right so this is from daniel this is i'd love to get your review on my revamp portfolio so you might notice some components from other reviews you reviews you've did of course with precision i'm not a designer so after re-watching your old videos i tried something and put this together all right so this is a personal portfolio let's check it out All right, here is a personal portfolio. Okay, coming down, we're scrolling. All right. Okay, so you have all the basics right, that's for sure. Um, there's good contrast up in this area. We'll see if it's responsive. Yeah, we have an issue right here, of course, which we'd want to remedy a little bit. Um, coming here, it does change. That's a cool little animation there. I, uh, but the one thing I would say that lacks in this area is I, I kind of want to see something else other than just this blob here. So if you could figure out some sort of other, uh, illustration of something or some, some sort, it could be a picture of yourself, perhaps if you do it well, um, or some sort of interesting, uh, illustration it could be like isometric or something. Um, it could be maybe, um, like a featured portfolio project or something like that. I think that would help, um, coming down here. I, this is, this is okay. The way you've done that. Um, I, I like this type and the way everything's set up here is just really solid. I would say, uh, yep, that works as well. And all right. So we just have three projects. This works though. I have no problem with this at all. And the contact form, very simple. I would probably take this text area and expand it more like this by default, just so they have more room. But other than that, good white space, good color, contrast. I have no problem with this. This is all really solid for the most part. Yeah. So if I click on portfolio, this is all like kind of like a one page scrolling. So that's it. All right, cool stuff. What do you guys think this person should get for their rating? The one being the worst and the 10 being the best. A 10 being the best rather. I've never given a, a perfect 10. Very close though. <clears throat> For this one, I'm going to say a 7.8. All right, so I'm just rounding up here for the rating. Pretty, pretty solid. All right, let's continue on. Who is number three? So let's, uh, awesome. Sir Exotic is, is making my life easier. 
This is from Rohan and it says, please review my website. Okay. Ooh, that's intense. These vertices, we always get one of them. I remember last year we, we got a ton of these. We had like five or six submissions that had these. Um, I forget what you call these particle systems in the background. Um, I can't scroll down though. So let's click on one of the links about me. Okay. Uh, contact me. Okay. All right. So we have some issues with this. Uh, first and foremost, the background. I too much happening in my opinion. It's really you know you, you there the the white dots and the amount of movement you have is distracting. So you want it to be more of an afterthought. If you're going to keep that, take the opacity down to like five percent on those or like eight uh, percent. So that's because. It, it, you want it to be more of an afterthought if it's a background element and you don't want it to be so distracting like this. Um, the, the, it, I would really wouldn't call this much of a layout uh, simply because you have your name, you have a navigation, you have this, and then that's it. I, uh, this, you need to, if it's a personal portfolio, you really want to expand more on it. You want to have like a headline or sub headline. Uh, where you inform people about what exactly it is you do, what are your strengths, give them a strong call to action rather than just list out all these links here. By the way, these should be cursor pointer and CSS uh, because the icon's not changing. Um, and then like your sub pages, like about me, the uh, entire interface goes away in terms of being able to quickly navigate to your other pages instead of you just have a go back button, but that's not ideal. You want people to be able to see that full navigation. So I would stick to standard conventions. Don't put your navigation in the middle like this. Put it at the top, maybe left align your name, uh, and trying to build out more of a full layout. And so what I would suggest in this case, go to uh, Google, type in design portfolio or developer portfolio inspiration or something like that. And you'll find these galleries and these websites that'll show you impressive designs where you're, you can get some ideas to expand on yours. So um, what do you guys think for a rating for this? Uh, the uh, one would be the worst, of course, and 10 would be the best. Let me know in the uh, comments here on YouTube. By the way, thanks for the super chat. That definitely is helping funding my margarita fund, which I will consume tonight now that my stomach virus has gone away after two weeks so yep three 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 four negative one <laughs> that's brutal i'm gonna say for this one yeah we're gonna go with a oh shit no sorry that was supposed to be a three um i had this thing mapped to the wrong it's supposed to be a three i'm very sorry <laughs> he probably got really excited that was meant to be a three all right, uh, but yeah, do what I said. You'll get there. Stick with it. Okay, awesome. So, Sir Exotic, I uh, here we go. Super chat. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, hi Gary. Uh, still work in progress, but almost finished. So don't want to wait for another two weeks. So my first bigger project. I hope it's not terrible. Well, me neither. I uh, let's uh, let's check it out. Especially because you you gave me some a little bit of money. Uh, so again, anybody watching, if you really want uh, to to uh, me to review your thing right now and here, uh, make sure you send a super chat. Okay, so next up, uh, f okay, Festa Ristrante. <laughs> I'm such an idiot, I can't pronounce simple words. Okay, so all right, let's continue and scroll down. I feel like everything's very large and in my face at this viewport at least. All right, let's expand this out just momentarily. Again, I'm just trying to get a, a, another look at it. Let's check out responsiveness. Right here, you would probably want to spread these out just a little bit more because you do have space, a little bit space between them. Change this to cursor pointer, um, even though a lot of people on desktop won't, but it's still just a, a little thing. Uh, they wouldn't be using this small viewport anyways, but some people might. Uh, okay, 
So looking at this overall, it's pretty solid. Uh, this background picture, which is you know a nice sort of carousel effect, or it's kind of fading between photographs rather. There is, I would say, like that one, for instance, there wasn't probably um, enough contrast. Uh, so you might even want to take the opacity down just a little bit more to make it more of an afterthought so that this stuff sticks out just a tad bit more. Um, this area, I feel like, hmm, I feel like it's a little, there's a little bit too much happening. Everything seems real large. So I would scale down a lot of your elements uh, by a little bit because it almost feels like I've um, have the browser zoom on, but I don't. So uh, this this is fine. This is this being this large is fine, but I, th I think this element could be a little bit smaller. The, this type up here and this reservation could be a little bit smaller at this viewport, uh, and I, th I think that would uh, serve it well. Coming down here, I like this the split column layout where you have you know a nice photograph here. Um, I think you do need to work a little bit on the type. I don't think I've ever been a, much of a fan of um, this type of justification where you have uh, uh, some of the lines are really being spread out to fit this area. Um, I think it makes it a little bit more difficult to read. Let me know what you guys think, though. Uh, this could be just a matter of personal preference for me, though. Um, probably move this down a little bit more um, and perhaps this up a tad bit more to separate them. Um, but outside of that, there's good white space, there's good contrast, good photographs. Uh, so yeah, I think this is an improvement from, I think, what I saw before. Uh, this area right here with the mid-grayish, I, I would probably make this darker, a, l a little bit darker, almost black, but not quite. I'd get rid of the, the, uh, the stroke right here as well. Um, it's, it's just unnecessary. Uh, so coming down here, this this is... This is pretty good right here. And the footer works as well down here as well. So yeah, overall pretty good, pretty solid. There's not anything that's horrendously long. So let me know what you guys think on a scale of one to 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best. Somebody said a nine, seven, seven, six, please download link. What? I'm not trying to download anything. Uh, yeah, this seems like a pretty solid, uh, just seven point. Um, yeah, 7.0 to me. All right, good stuff. So just uh, keep at it. Let's continue on. Who is next? All right, uh, submission number five. Okay, this is from I am Groot. Okay, graduating student kind of portfolio page. Any feedback to improve responsive sidebar? All right. All right, let's refresh just to see if there's any animation. No, there isn't. All right, let's continue on. All right. From what I see, a lot. Of, this is all really quite solid. I assume this is just kind of like a one-page sort of thing. Yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah. So this area, the type here, is great in my opinion. Um, kind of like a sleek, sort of monochromatic approach. But you have this nice blue call to action button. Uh, everything here is pretty solid. I'm not sure about this part. And this part, the way we have these, uh, the, the the two different types of navigation navigation situated, maybe um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I just feel like they have, they should be styled maybe perhaps a little bit differently. Um, perhaps use icons along with these and or bold them or just change them up somehow. I'm not sure, but it's a very minor gripe. Um, this right here, good section where you have uh, a good amount of padding right here. This all works pretty well. I would probably want to do something else with this picture, maybe make it a little bit larger. Um, yeah, and also we can see there's an issue with uh, spacing right here. So if I get out this uh, Vizbug thing here and we do our, uh, darn, I think I've, this is the wrong one to use. Um, uh, the ruler, we can get out the ruler here there it 
this. Let me delete this. So look where about about me starts and then this is all indented in. That doesn't look good. I would make this on the same area right here. So move that over. Um, outside of that, this section, very solid. This section, the cards are very good. Notice, you know, some people try to do cards, they add big old, big old strokes that uh, they have too much contrast on them. They don't look good. They try to add strokes along any thumbnails inside of them. Those don't look good as well. Um, there's a very subtle shadow, but it works. Uh, um, it works very well. So, you know, this is all very, very good stuff. This works. So yeah, very, very good. I. Uh, so what do you guys think this person should get for their rating? A one being the worst and the 10 being the best. Contrast here is pretty good. Nine, eight, eight, seven, eight. All right, so uh, yeah, general consensus seems to be, and I agree, I would say uh, right around, yeah, eight, very solid. Good stuff, keep at it. All right, let's continue on. We had a super chat from Anant, is it Anant? If that's how you pronounce it. Uh, awesome. Sir Exotic is doing a very good job right now. <clears throat> it makes life much easier. Plus, I can get more of these reviews in. Um, all right, thank you very much for that super chat. Uh, funding, you know, the whole margarita fund for tonight. So uh, let's check this out. All right. Let's see here. Screw on down. It's pretty solid so far. This is good from what I'm seeing. All right. One thing I would do is probably push this down a little bit more, maybe by like from here to like here, the top of it should start here. That way it kind of centers it here vertically more and it's, it's not so close to this section. But this, this works very well though. Um, I like this logo, I like this type the separation with this type, and then the clear call to action right here. Nothing negative to say. I like the very subtle um, sort of dot-based background too, that pattern. Next up, we have a nice amount of white space. It's not too much, but it's not too little uh, between this section and this section. Uh, and these three columns right here, nothing negative to say. It's very solid. Um, you're probably really close to being right on the threshold of uh, minimum contrast acceptability. So if I take this and we, we inspect this, yeah, it is actually right there. Like if it was probably a little bit lighter, it would probably fail, uh, but it's good. Yeah, uh, this as well, this is all solid. So yeah, there's nothing really else that I can say would definitely need to be improved. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, this is pretty solid. Could possibly think about putting these in cards that are with a white background and having some white space in there, but this, this works though as well. Um, let's see what contrast says about this. Yep, it's still acceptable. Awesome. All right, what do you guys think this person should get for their design? One being the worst, 10 being the best. Yeah, I'm gonna say for this, 
Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say a nine, perhaps an 8.9. Um, I think to really get the upper level, you would need to have some sort of interactivity and perhaps animations also being a part of it. But for what it is, uh, it's very solid. Awesome stuff. Um, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> this is from Sir Exotic himself. So I designed a fictional promotional website for Vans. The customized button is clickable. No time to code it, but uh, it may be in the near future. Okay, so it's Adobe, Adobe XD prototype from the dude who's helping me out today. All right, yes, Vans. You know, I'm, I'm 30, what am, I, what am I? I'm about the 36 here. Uh, in July, and I remember being in high school. Man, vans were all the were all the rage, and even in middle school as well. Uh, I I never owned a pair though. All right, so let's check this out. Oh, so this is very unique. This this type of uh, interesting layout. Yes, this is nice. This type of layout on um, your uh, fits perfectly with uh, with what I know the Vans uh, branding is. Uh, it's it's very different. It's very unique. It's very, I uh, well, I'll just say different and unique. And um, this really, I would say, speaks to that for sure. Um, probably nothing is clickable, right? Uh, there's no prototyping. But for what this is, yeah, I like this. You could probably extend this part out, maybe just a bit further over here. But again, in that way, there wouldn't be this big empty space in the middle. But I, yeah, I really like this. The colors, I, everything. It would be really cool to see this though, and uh, if it were in, in HTML and CSS. But I, uh, yeah, the fact that the the um, social media icons are right here in the middle, very different, but it works still. Um, yeah, this is all solid. This works. Unique. Uh, uh, Kind of graphic design over here this works don't have any issues reading it oh look at that nice very 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 cool yeah for being an, a, a prototype i have to say i uh, this is probably going to be one of the highest rated actual you know uh, mock-ups rather so what do you guys think this person should get for or sir exotic rather should get for their design a one being the worst 10 being the best okay. I think the blue right here and the red I think these go together along with these other shades of, of, of darker uh, the darker colors so I yeah, I, I think it works. I mean, if this was a larger amount of blue and it was kind of mixed in, like I would probably say, eh, but this works. All right, I'm going to say, what am I going to say? I'm going to say here, yeah, a probably like a 9.2, 9.3. .3. Just because it's not realized in HTML and CSS and I... I would have loved to see that. So, very good otherwise. All right, submission eight, Moisty Moors. <laughs> Could you tell me how to fix the design of my latest project? All right. All right, let's do this. All right, so my anime list, this is a random anime picker. You know, I never got into anime. I never really quite understood it. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm older. Um, all right, so I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so you're my anime list username. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, and I can't scroll down. And I can't click on anything. Oh, I can click on those, but okay. So rule a random name. What is that? So I guess you're supposed to search through names. Wow. I would speed this up because this takes quite a bit of time. People don't want to have to sit there the whole time. 
I uh, Okay, so first of all, it's a little bit confusing because there's no navigation that I can see. So if we go back here, there's no navigation. So I, I, I'm forced to use this. I, I assume this is the primary call to action right here. Um, in which case you don't wanna, uh, at least, let's see if this is responsive, sort of is. I, I would make this a little bit more, I would make it stand out more, probably center it right here with your call to action button as well. I and probably list these out differently. Um, you have clearly a ton of them. So on a, on a large viewport, you should have multiple rows of this and perhaps have different categories as well so that it's not just a, a page right here where there's no scrolling. Uh, I would probably also change up the font and the type. Uh, it just seems, I uh, I don't know, kind of just a little bit cheap, I guess I, could, uh, I would say. So I would I figure out a different uh, typeface for this. The blue doesn't work with the background being gray. It's just, just not enough contrast in, in the lighter area. Uh, so I would change that as well. Um, coming over here, it looks like this is entirely different uh, user interface. So I'm not going to even try to critique that. Although this is myanimelist.net, so this is different. Okay, this is a different thing. So yeah, uh, what do you guys think this person should get for their rating? One being the worst, ten being the best. We got a four, five, one, two, three point five, three, three. Yep, yep. I let me fix my uh, my keyboard shortcut thing real quick. There we go. All right, so I'm going to say a three for this. There, this time it works. I didn't put it in eight. Uh, so yeah. Take my uh, advice here. Again, go to design, um, UI design inspiration sites and, and try to um, I go back to the drawing board, I would say, for the most part. Um, otherwise, try to integrate the changes that I've made, or suggested at least. Um, submission nine, this is from Scott. Hi, Gary, would like you to read. Hey, before I be do this, by the way, if you guys, uh, what is it? We're at 33 minutes already. So I'll be doing this for 27 more minutes. If you want me to get to your design, send in a super chat. Just click here in the chat area of YouTube. Specify your Discord username and then the amount that you want to pay. Uh, that will go towards the margarita fund, of course. Okay, so uh, let's continue on. So this is from Scott. Would like you to review the site I built for a client. All right, let's check it out. Let's refresh. All right, scroll down. Okay, so there's a number of things that could definitely be improved here. First of all, I would get rid of this bar right here. This this white bar just you know have this background image all the way to the top. Um, this right here. I'm not sure what it is about this type, this font, but it seems kind of pixelated. It, it, I, I, whatever, let me click on this. It says it's railway, but it just seems, uh, which is a fine font, but it just seems a little bit, I'm not sure what's happening to it um, to make it look like it's pixelated like this. Uh, it also seems like there's not enough uh, space between the characters, so uh, I would adjust that as well. Um, the home shop, okay, the the type here, it, it, what what font is this? So it's just like a serif font. I would probably stick to sans serif, honestly, to make it more simple. The hover right here as well, being like a mid gray, I would change that up to something else if you did want to have a hover. Also, this is throwing me off too because you hover over this and we have kind of like a rounded border kind of a hover and then these are square. So, and they also don't extend all the way to each other. You can see there's space in the middle. So I would remedy the, that, those issues as well. You want them to be consistent. Uh, so make this one as well go full, like like an actual a rectangle. Um, the way you have the rebring you type uh, being serif with this part as well. I, if you want this to work, I would change up the type. Um, 
Let's see if I can do that real quickly. Sometimes this doesn't work as expected depending what's happening with the CSS, but I, the font size, let's do an AEM, uh, letter spacing, ah, not that much. Um, font weight, Okay, font weight 300, okay. Something like this works a little bit better than what you had. Uh, if you wanted to try doing mixing, you know, serif with sans serif. This right here, handpicked from around the world direct to your door. Kind of hard to read, especially with this area being uh, brighter. Looking at this other stuff, uh, you have intense, like uh, a glow right here, uh, or the shadow probably remove that or make it less noticeable and also push it down more. You have this amount of white space between here, but then we have a tiny amount of white space between here. So it's everything's cluttered and pushed up around. Same thing with the bottom here. I mean, the top of here, you have a certain amount of white space and then down here you have almost half. So uh, <clears throat> it's just an issue of spacing with a lot of this. Um, this right here is hard to, to see. Uh, it's white. You have certain elements that are almost white around it. Um, and the stroke right here, I would get rid of that. Kind of hard to read the placeholder value right here, name and email. Uh, the yes, please, I wouldn't have opacity on that at all. Uh, you really want it to stand out as much as possible. And so over here, you're going to have to work on your type and your visual hierarchy more so. Uh, and the download here button being kind of off to the left, while these are both centered in their columns, throws off the layout. Um, if anything, center those up right underneath them as well. Um, so yeah, just there's a lot of stuff here that's happening, but it can be made good in a quick amount of time if you know what you're doing in terms of fixing the alignment issues and the type issues. So let me know what you guys think with this rating, one being the worst, 10 being the best. Hello, anyone alive? Two, all right, we got a four, we got a three point, we got pi, we got five, four, two, three. I'm going to say, yeah, that ear is a four in my opinion. All right, so uh, just keep at it though. Just try to simplify it, give yourself more space, uh, void space in there for sure and work on the type. All right, so let's continue on. Submission 10. Uh, is from, well, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that username. So I made these two pages for a blogging website with the Django framework. One is a tags page, which shows specific posts for selected tag, and second is a sign up for user registration. What is this? Oh, it's a JPEG? All right. All right. You can tell this is I uh, probably from that, um, one of those human design library things right here. Um, but looking at this for what it is, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, kind of, I'm not sure like uh, if this is the entire layout where you have a contact us here and then a login and sign up button here, that's a little strange. I wouldn't separate these like that. Um, keep them by each other and I, uh, yeah, rethink that part. Um, but for what this is, this isn't this isn't too bad uh, in terms of um, having an actual registration page. So I think this works. Um, real quickly, we'll look down here. Kind of hard to see this. Um, okay, so this is definitely a no go. A no go on the Django blog. The name centered here, and then you have about right here. Uh, it seems like you could push this over here to the login or include it down here as well and then left align the Django blog. I would definitely left align this. Um, down here from what I can see, we have a card base layout and th this seems okay. Um, this is a little bit cluttered up here. You, the way you have the spacing right here then right underneath you have yourself. I, I would move this lorem ipsum text up a little bit more and then yourself down a little bit more. 
Uh, so just a, a, a small things like that. Um, I'm probably not, I'm not going to bother with a rating with this just because it's only just static JPEGs and there's really not too much here to review. Um, so yeah, definitely try to send in like an XD prototype next time uh, so we can see a higher fidelity uh, version of that. So let's go ahead and check the next one out. We're at 40 minutes, about 19 more minutes left. All right, not really designed more like a feature showcase for a particles effect. Oh, okay. Uh, this person, JS, I, I've noticed is very interested in particle effects. I've seen him around the Discord user, uh, Discord uh, channel before, really working on particle effects, which is cool. Oh, look at that. Very cool. I, I know this person also has a lot of other, um, if this is his uh, user account right here, I'm not sure. Yeah, I remember seeing like custom shaders and stuff like that. Very cool. And this isn't a video, by the way, this is using uh, Canvas actually. I, I actually kind of want to get more into stuff like this. I'm not sure what exactly is happening here at this point. But this is one of those things it's not really worth rating. But just to check it out, very cool. Awesome stuff. Keep at it. We will go on to the next one. Uh, Sir Exotic is keeping up here. Very good. Shady the God. Updated the website using your advice and help with others from uh, from the other Discord members. And by the way, so that's one of the things I wanted to mention before I do this. I wanted to mention that I... A lot of people join the Discord server here um, just for the purpose of submitting these submissions and all that stuff and then leave. I definitely try to make it a priority to come back and hang out in the different channels. We have a bunch of different channels and they're all, uh, some of them are quite active. So definitely come by uh, even after and just, just idle in the server as well and hang out. All right, so let's continue on. Uh, here is this one. I always I always like this color scheme, this type of blue with like a, a very dark desaturated blue. Uh, let's uh, refresh to see if there's any animation. Yes, there is. Let's scroll down. All right. All right. Okay, so what I would do uh, with this is this section, this stuff right here, you have all this space, like a massive amount. I'm not saying you have to spread out these three elements across all of them, but I would spread it out a little bit more so vertically than what you've done already. Just a tad bit, maybe from here to like here a bit. I, I'm not entirely certain about uh, this typeface along with this right here. Um, again, I think we just need more spacing between these elements. Let me see if I can... Well, I can see it changed. It made the viewport change uh, to where this is smaller. But honestly, I think it would be worth, you know, doing something like... Perhaps something like that. And maybe just uh, a margin top. And then if I close this out, that type should be a little bit further. Maybe something slightly more like that and maybe a little bit more white space between this element, to, between the side of it, and then just kind of push these in just a tad bit more. Uh, and I think it'd be uh, framed a little bit better. This part, um, with along with a couple other slides down here, uh, I wouldn't call them slides, but you know what I mean. The uh, it's a little bit hard to read. So especially when you have a background here with type that's behind the type here. So what you would do is lessen the opacity of this even more so. 
uh, so that we can really easily read this type as much as possible because I can still read this easily point your phone to the screen to capture the, it so it's making it hard to read so definitely change that I this is a little bit easier but still you can see this type down here quite a bit um, so this is probably a little bit better than this than the one above it this one again it's hard to read because we have all this type right here it's just very cluttered looking so you're gonna have to drop that opacity down even more so all right so what do you guys think this person should get for their uh, design I, I definitely like the the navigation style and how each of them are full page uh, but just a few th things I think you could really improve it quite a bit I uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 1 being the worst and 10 being the best let me know Nine six eight seven seven four seven. Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably more close to like a six point eight, six point nine for this. But yeah, it could easily be improved uh, quite a bit more just with those few small adjustments. All right, let's continue on. Submission 13 is from this person and the logo. All right, we got a logo. I'm going to get up a, a larger version here. All right, I'm trying to think. Okay, so it's I. Uh, the symbol is, of course, is an S with a pen graphic. So graphic and web designer. I would. Okay, let's check out more though before I start. Okay. I would probably scale this the the size of this icon down a little bit more I uh, maybe even so that the top of it of this tip ends right here and the bottom ends right down here and it, it will sort of encase it a little bit more but if not then maybe just scale it down just by about 15 to 20 percent of what it is now um, outside of that I like the idea uh, it's, a, it's a unique approach with the pen uh, in the S, definitely unique. I, uh, I personally like the monochromatic version, like right here, as opposed to mixing colors with it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, this is pretty solid. I'll get, I'll just give this a personal rating in terms of what I think. Well, screw it. I might as well have you guys do it as well. What do you guys think this person should get for the logo design? One being the worst and ten being the best. Oh yeah, the HTML logo. Yeah, you're you're right. The HTML5 logo. I'll say it's a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid seven here. Yep. All right, who is up next? Sound plays instantly and it's kind of loud. Okay, Douglas. <laughs> Simple website working project work in process I'm type I'm talking too much I can't even t talk right anymore it actually didn't play for me I don't, I don't think I hit pause when that, that loaded let's refresh yeah it didn't play instantly for me interesting maybe it's like a, a personal setting or something I have on my YouTube account um, anyhow all right so can I translate that yes all right, so it's like a, a health site. For this, I mean, I guess it comes in fast enough. But I'd like to see, if you're going to do a full page kind of like pop-up for this, I'd like to see you perhaps fill it out somehow a little bit more. But when it comes to UX, uh, one of the things that is sort of discouraged is having on a large viewport like this like a desktop viewport having the hamburger menu uh, because it's just an unnecessary step because if you you literally only have four links you could easily fit those in up here um, and that way it's it's less clicking for the user um, so of course it would make sense here but really not 
anything larger than around here. All right, so can, coming down here, this this works, this works, this works as well. Um, this is a little bit blinding me, just a tad bit with the with the yellow and the white. Uh, but this part works. I would probably work on this part on her butt here, the uh, the logo. Try to wrap that around more with uh, Photoshop. You can use the warp tool to make it a little bit more believable. This part works. I like the type here. This works, all the features. All right. Yeah. So what do you guys think this person should get for their rating? One being the worst and 10 being the best. Peter, I'm not reviewing pages from one person only. <laughs> Uh, that person is just helping me go through the queue uh, of people who submitted them. Someone said 7.5, 6.58, 7.566. 6. Yeah, I'm going to say a, a 7, perhaps 6.9 or so. Probably a solid seven, actually. So let's reset that. All right, let's uh, go here. We are at 51 minutes, so we're gonna be doing this for about eight more minutes. Submission 15, could you please review my portfolio site? Jalen, okay. Jaylene or Jay Lee, okay. All right, let's refresh. Just a very subtle animation coming down here. Uh, let's continue on. All right, so just a few small things here. First, I have to be honest. Let me know what you guys think in the, the chat about this. I'm not a fan of this font, of this typeface. We saw it earlier too on a different um, page, but uh, there's just something that, I don't know, I just don't like it. It's like sort of like a blocky font. Um, let me know what you guys think. Either way, you have a lot of space here at this viewport resolution at least, uh, and so everything is really condensed here. You have your name, right here, right underneath it's there, and then right underneath it with very little white space is the button. So I would separate things out quite a bit more. Um, so I, yeah, definitely change that up. Um, the call to action button works though. It is sticking out at least, so you're doing that right. Um, this part's okay. Uh, very simple to card, works. This works. Um, this, definitely wanna add more space white space on the top of this because this is real cluttered at the top. We have all this empty space down here, but everything is just kind of you know pushed up here. Take these two blocks for each one and center them in this space here vertically. And that will work much better. Other than that, that was pretty good. Some of this stuff you can't read. I guarantee my contrast uh, app is going to tell you that you fail right here. Inspect. I don't understand what's happening. Oh, wait, I think the exit, what the font, there we go. We're gonna inspect this. Dude, get off, what font? Someone's calling me. See, and that fails. And if we choose auto, minimum acceptability would be right here. See how it changed? So you wanna also spread these out more. They're too, too crammed up together, so. Work on your uh, your type and your, your your spacing. What do you guys think this person should get for a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best? Let me know in the chat. Yes, that is, uh, an, is an S10, indeed. All right, seven, 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 a lot of sevens here. Well, let me see if I agree with that. Let me go back through this again. I don't quite agree with that. I'm gonna say something more like, 
like 6.5 or so. I, I, I definitely would change the type and uh, also work on those issues that I mentioned before. So we are at 54, 55 minutes. I might have time for one or two more, definitely one more. Submission 16, hi Gary, I'm from Brazil and I have this for opinion. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is interesting. Very interesting. Let's refresh. A little bit of an animation coming in. I wish I could uh, translate this. Now look at this. Very unique. A lot of type, I have to say though. There's a lot of text here to get through. You look at it, all that type. So if it's possible at all, and I know sometimes if you're working with a client, it's not possible. I would try to um, reduce some of the type because there's a lot of it here, if possible. Um, and just lead into like a different page uh, to learn more. But outside of that, uh, yeah, this is very interesting. The Obviously a lot of work, assuming you did this work here, um, has gone into this. I, I would probably move this down just a pad tab a bit more because you'd still have space without hitting any of the elements. So Perry, you move it down to here where the bottom of the button's here. Um, looking at this part, this seems to be pretty good in terms of uh, the type and the placement. Look at that person in their underwear. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is all pretty good. Now this part's a little bit strange right here. You get to around here, we have the image here, another image here, and then we're left aligned and we're centered. It feels like the layout sort of breaks a little bit um, or the formatting of it at least. Uh, so one way that you could possibly remedy that, I'm trying to think here, maybe push this down just a tad bit more from right here so it's you don't have these three type elements right here so close together. But yeah, very interesting. This part works as well, um, these three sections. So very good. You definitely want to increase the, uh, where it says say email, um, increase the contrast of that, make that darker. Let me know what you guys think of this scale of one to 10, one being the worst and 10 being the best. Eight, eight, seven, eight, eight. I think with the amount of type, yeah, I'm going to say a 7.8 with that, uh, with this one here. There's just a ton of type. All right, so let's go back to reset this. And this is going to be the very last one because we're at 58 minutes and 24 seconds. Um, from Indonesia, please review my web template. Also, don't submit any um, YouTube chats, by the way, or super, super chats um, because I'm not going to be doing that anymore. All right, so I don't even know how to pronounce that. Creative one page personnel. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I'm not sure what this is. It's the same thing, except it's just like a light version. I really like this, but I'm not sure what this part has to do with an entirely separate. Um, if this is I'm trying to think here, if this is meant to be your portfolio landing page where you send everybody to, and then you make them choose all the way down here, a, a dark or a light version, that completely doesn't make sense to me. If that's the case, I'm not sure if that's the situation. Uh, so I would, 
either stick with this and or this and then just have them toggle in the nav bar between light and dark. Uh, so you send them here and just have the light and dark to toggle here. Um, and that's where they would go by default. Other than that, uh, this is all unique and pretty solid from what I see here. Yeah, not too sure about the lines. Uh, maybe make them more of an afterthought. Maybe make them like uh, a little bit lighter than the background. So they're more like a watermark because they do contrast quite a bit. But other than that, this is all solid. So what do you guys think this person should get for the rating? One being the worst and 10 being the best. All right, seven, nine, seven and a half, eight, seven, seven and a half. I'll say, yeah, I'll say for this, I'll give it close to an eight. Yep, very solid stuff. All right, guys, uh, that is going to be it. So thanks for joining. Uh, and yeah, thanks to Sir Exotic making that very simple on me. Everything went perfectly. Um, so yeah, so I, we don't save the submission order. Um, so you're just going to have to be here, not next week. But I do this every two weeks. So two Fridays from now, we'll go ahead and, uh, do this again. And yeah, so thanks a lot, everyone. Make sure to just stay in the discord server in idle and, and check out the chat. We have an off topic. We have general. And then we have, of course, have a bunch of specific channels for specific issues. All right, I'm going to get going, guys, and I'll see you guys later. All right, goodbye.